and welcome to our December 20th elementary Sunday school session. Today is the fourth Sunday in Advent. So if you have your Advent wreath, you can light all four candles today because we are in the fourth and final week of the season of Advent where we wait for the coming of Jesus. Now get your packet and the front picture looks like this. When we tear off the back page, that's the page for you to begin working on as you listen to the story. Our scripture comes from the book of Luke, which is in our New Testament, chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our scripture comes from the Gospel of Luke, and it is the song Mary, the mother of Jesus, sings after she learns she will be Jesus' mother. Mary's song is similar to another song she had heard before. Her parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and so on, taught her the song of Hannah, a woman who lived in ancient Israel. And like Hannah, Mary sang her thanks and praise to God. And your paper shows, My soul magnifies the Lord from generation to generation. So many parents taught Hannah's song to their children who then passed the song on to their children until Mary heard it and sang a similar song. Mary's song has now been passed down all the way to us today. Why is it important for us to keep singing these songs? Both Hannah's song and Mary's song praise God for bringing down the rich and lifting up the poor, feeding the hungry, and sending the rich away empty. These songs tell us that some rich people were greedy, taking more food and resources than they needed, while other people were starving and poor, not getting quite enough of what they needed to live. But these songs also celebrate God's justice. That while justice is a big word, it simply means God is fixing the problem. God's justice makes sure that no one has too much and no one has too little. Everyone will have what they need to live and grow. While we wait for Jesus this Advent, it's important we help bring justice into the world too. One way to do this is by sharing what we have and receiving what others give to us so everyone can have what they need. Let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for the stories and songs we hear when we read from the Bible. Thank you for Mary's song that helps us remember you are a God who wants justice. Amen.